Let's go over removing any application from any Android device. As many Android devices come locked down, whether you're buying a cell phone from some carrier or you're buying an Amazon tablet, uh, there's a lot of stuff on these uh, devices that you just simply can't remove by holding it and dragging it to uninstall, or it'll only say you can disable it, which we all know that doesn't really disable the app. Uh, so let's get into utilizing ADB, which is all free and open. Everything I'm going to show you in this video, every tool I use in this video is completely free and open source. So with that, let's get on the desktop and start uninstalling things from our phones. I'm also going to show you a couple other tools uh, that are really neat that you can do with your cell phone and also any Android device. So to start out here, I am on uh, ChrisTitus.com in the Android section. I created a cheat sheet, as I like to do. And also, I've added little commands to basically install ADB platform tools, is what we're going to be using. But uh, a lot of the guides online go way too in-depth. Uh, and, and honestly, they do it in a really bad manner to where you can't use ADB anywhere in the system. So whether you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac, I went ahead and made very simple one-liners to get ADB platform tools installed on your system properly. Um, for Windows, I use Chocolatey. Just do uh, uh, Coco install or, or Choco install ADB. Uh, Linux install with terminal. Uh, this is apt install Android tools ADB and also Android tools dash fastboot. This is on in pretty much every repository on Linux. Uh, obviously, if you're not using the APT package manager, change it to your package manager. Uh, on Mac, uh, I do use Homebrew. I find this way is the easiest way to do it. A simple Ruby command gets Homebrew installed on your Mac and then just brew and install pl Android platform tools. Very easy to go into the installation. I'm not gonna cover this install as it just depends on what you're using on your OS, but no OS in this instance is bad. Uh, you can do any of these things with it. I'm, I'm personally using Linux for this tutorial today. So setting up phone for ADB debugging, I go through these steps. Pretty much everyone knows how to go to settings about, but if you don't, here's the walkthrough guide. I've even done this in a past video, so if you wanna see me do it, um, by all means, check out that. I'll link it in the, in the description uh, and also link it up in the title card as well. Uh, but basically, it's just going about clicking build number about seven times and then going to developer options and enabling USB debugging. Now for the commands, the heart of this video. Uh, I go in ahead and listed pretty much every command you need to know. Um, a lot of people get confused with ADB and Fastboot. Uh, those are two separate commands. And depending on what you're doing, I kind of went ahead and just notated this, just simplified it for everyone. You would use an ADB command if it's booted up. So if you're in your device, it's on your home screen, use ADB. Uh, but if it's in like recovery mode or bootloader mode, uh, those types of things, uh, or fast boot mode, obviously, you'd use fast boot. So that's why when you'd use uh, fast boot compared to ADB. Um, so obviously, bootloader and fast boot mode, you'll use fast boot. But for this video, we're really going to be covering. ADB, specifically ADB shell and listing packages. Now, I know this sounds complex, but it's really not. Once you get this installed, you'll just simply go over to your terminal, command prompt, whatever you're using on any system, and you'll see kind of like my basic screen. This is actually my cell phone. I am using SCRCPY to, to cast this screen over here, so if you're interested in this tool, it's free and open source, you can use it on any Linux system. But uh, we'll swipe up and go to our applications. And in our applications, you can see all these different things I have installed. But I have like BusyBox and some other stuff. BusyBox actually just adds some uh, functionality, some terminal commands we can use, but you don't necessarily need it for this video. But let's say there's something in here you wanna remove and you can't and you need to disable it. By all means, you can do ADB devices. The ADB devices should list your devices. It should say exactly like this. Obviously, the serial number will be different because it's not your phone. But just know that uh, if it does say this and then it says uh, something about permissions or there's something after the device saying it doesn't have access, you need to go over to your phone, 
uh, and you should see a prompt and you just need to say always allow and hit OK and then you'll be able to control it with ADB. If you don't see that prompt, uh, I would just switch the USB from charging mode to file transfer mode and then you should see the prompt. Uh, let's go ahead and flip through here, find something I want to uninstall. Um, and you know, I can uninstall Tab Trader. I don't really use that app, um, but let's list everything that's installed on this phone. You see everything that's installed on the left side here, but I wanna list it over here on my computer. So going back to our cheat sheet, um, this will just list user installed stuff. Typically, if it's user installed, you can uninstall it on your phone. So I'm not gonna go too much into this command, but just know that's what those extra uh, commands are doing on the side. Uh, so we're just gonna go with a full list packages. So we'll paste that in there and you'll see a whole host of things. Now you'll notice that there's a lot more packages installed than what's showing on the actual phone itself or your Android tablet itself. Notice some of these things need to be uninstalled. Like uh, let's say the Verizon agent. I don't particularly use that. Um, you gotta be cautious about just uninstalling everything from here. Um, but notice that uh, you can pretty much remove whatever you want on here. Um, if you have issues, we can go into AB, ADB shell and do super user mode, but I don't recommend that as if it is a system process, there's a good chance going into super user mode, you can break your Android device. So I like to just do a uh, package uninstall. So first uh, I'm gonna do a Samsung one because I had a Samsung phone once and it just had so much bloatware. So first I want to make this command just show like Samsung stuff. So we're gonna do the pipe symbol, which is above the enter key. You just go shift and then backspace, which is the pipe. And then we'll do grep. And then let's say Samsung. Let's see if there's any Samsung packages. Uh, we have two in here, but they're just theme packages. One's uh, a font and the other one's a color. So nothing too big here. Uh, let's see if there's any Verizon because I don't have Verizon as a carrier and I don't see anything in here. So you do see, we do have some Verizon services and OBDM and an agent, um, lots of different things here. I could uninstall these as they're probably not needed, but at the same time, these are probably system services that aren't even listed as an app on here. So I don't recommend doing this, but if you really wanna take it to that next level, you could, but again, not recommended. So let's say we wanted to find that tab trader program. I bet it has tab in the name. So let's just grep everything with tab and you'll see package uh, com tab trader Android. From here, we can actually do what's called an ADB uninstall. And then we can just paste this entire com tab trader Android. And let's scroll down on our, our phone over here and maybe it'll just disappear as we uninstall it. So let's, uh, paste that in and then hit enter. All right. And then voila, you see it just disappeared over here. So you can remove like Samsung account and other things. Like when I de-bloated my Samsung phone, I would, I like to use them as an example because there's just so much Samsung junk. I couldn't actually uninstall from the phone itself, but I could from here. Another good one is Amazon Fire tablets. There's a lot of packages in here uh, from Amazon. So like, let's say you're doing the same thing. On that list packages, you would just do Amazon. And I don't have any Amazon packages actually installed on this one, but if I did, and it was like an Amazon Fire tablet, I would do that. And then you can actually see all the different Amazon packages. You can remove a lot of those uh, without getting into too much trouble. I do recommend not removing their launcher. It freaks out. I've done that. So I'll make a separate video on de-bloating uh, really the Amazon Fire Tablet as there's, uh, this will get you a long ways in getting any, any package you want installed here because you could actually download Android packages like APKs and do what's called an ADB install. And then you could actually install Google Play and all those other things directly from ADB as well, without ever actually interfacing directly on the phone other than using ADB interface. So just kind of a really cool way of interfacing with any Android device, uh, but I wanted to show just these basic commands so you can install, uninstall and install any program. And you can also issue like reboot commands and other things, uh, but be cautious with this. I think uh, when you do custom ROMs and things, that's it can get kind of, cumbersome, but you can take a really stock one and really clean it up to where it's a far more enjoyable experience. 
probably one thing before we leave I want to go ahead and show you, though. On these uh, package lists, when we're over here, one thing I like to do on every single phone is Facebook. I like to remove all Facebook packages. Obviously, a color I don't care about, but if it was a Facebook communications app or Facebook Messenger or anything like that, some of them are locked down on Android devices and you can't uninstall them. Those drain battery. They snoop on you. They're just really, really egregious and aggressive. So definitely check for Facebook apps. Even though you may not see them, they may be there. You want to uninstall all Facebook. Um, and obviously... You know, pick pick what you want to, to have on your phone, but get those packages down. It's going to save your battery. It's going to make your phone just a much more enjoyable experience. So I use this all the time. ADB has a lot more tools that I'd like to go into, but uh, for this video, I really wanted to just make it for everybody because installing those tools and just using ADB on any computer, I think is huge. Getting the packages down on your, your system is m massive gains all around. So do it. Every Android device, you should be doing this if you have packages you can't uninstall from uh, the app menu. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.